In this video, I just want to talk about different graphs that, you know, if, if you were to see a graph that looks like this or has this shape, I would expect that you'd be able to tell um, what type of graph it is. So I just want to go through six different examples here and just very quickly show what each of the, what the general shape of the graph looks like. So that way you should be able to recognize it. Um, you may already know this through graphing experiences you've had in the past. So this may just be a very quick review. So x equals y, or y equals x, this first graph here. What does that look like? Well, it looks like a straight line with a slope of 1. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to be, a straight line. So if you see a graph that looks like that, you know it's this x equals y sort of graph. y equals x squared. That's a parabola. It looks like that. Okay? Of course, my drawings aren't perfect, but it should be symmetric around the um, y-axis, and it's a nice little parabola. If you see y equals x cubed, that looks like this. Okay. Um, if you see y equals x, the absolute value of x, that looks like a v. And if you see y equals the square root of x, it's kind, that square root of x is kind of like this graph had you, had you kind of rotated it and you just had the one side. Okay, so it's kind of like a parabola that's on its side, but then you don't have this side of it. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, y equals 1 over x um, here at 1, and so this, this point is 1 and 1 and 1, negative 1 and negative 1. Okay, and then it looks like something like this, where I'm getting closer and closer to the x-axis and closer and closer to the y-axis and then closer and closer to the y-axis and closer and closer to the x-axis here. If you are a little unsure about any of these graphs, I highly recommend that you make a table, you plug in values, different values of x, different values of y, and then find the different values of y. Graph it yourself so you can double check that these graphs look like this. Um, although these graphs are, are graphs that you should, you know, but at this point probably have seen. And um, But like I said, if you haven't, just go ahead and plug in some points and see why it is that they look like this. It's really important that you know uh, the general way that these graphs look.